I have a question for all of you native Pennsylvanians. Probably goes to like someone's murder scene or something. What do you think you're doing up here, Pipe? You're gonna make people mad. I say good luck. On the road again, which means we need to find another place to stay. We are on the turnpike, so we have signal again. So I have both phones going, looking up campgrounds to stay at. On uh, my phone, I'm looking at Pennsylvania State Parks. And on our extra Wandering Wagner's phone, I'm looking up Ohio State Parks. Yes, I could do <clears throat> I could do them on the same phone, but my phone didn't want to work for Ohio, so here I am. Well, that is that. I got a sight. We are headed to Pymatumi on the Pennsylvania side. So there's Pymatumi State Park in Ohio and a Pymatumi State Park in Pennsylvania. It rides the state line between the two. There was actually nine sites available. So people always say, oh, there's never any sites. You're never going to get any work. Literally going right now to this park. And we got a site. And now there's still eight sites left at that state park. So if you want it, you can find it. We got here, checked in. We're gonna unhook the Jeep because Mike's gonna go try to find water and I'm gonna take the Jeep and gonna go try to find our campsite, which is L207. hoses to make it reach. I'm kind of blocking the road a little bit, but it's not like any traffic coming through here. Pipe says, let's go. Hurry up. Do you copy? Yes. Okay, I found the site. Okay, I'm getting water. How's it look? It doesn't look too bad. It's, a, it's got a picnic table. Tree might be blocking satellite, but I can't tell as of right now. Okay, hopefully this goes quick. Now we wait for Mike. It's already up to 56, 59 percent. This got some high pressure on this water spigot. At least it looks like the site is pretty long, so we can go all the way back because there's our power post. But I mean, our site. Where we're supposed to be like camping at is pretty small now they didn't really show any pictures online to show like how big the site was or how close the neighbors were or anything like that but our firing is back over here by this picnic table but um you could be kind of friendly with this site and this site well it's already at 91 percent i'm just gonna call that good and go ahead and shut it off mike said they are on their way and i can actually hear the wraith i can't see it yet but I can hear it. I'm just gonna loop around when he sees where I'm at because he's gonna pull in and back in right where I'm at. There he is. Yeah, it's kind of a weird angle to this site, but I think he's got it figured out. Speed test time at Climate Tuning State Park in Pennsylvania. Ready? Ready, go. And thanks to editing, the results are in. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't edited the results. We just saved you the time. Yes. A, T, and T. 82.6. Download and upload is 8.97. Very good on that upload for a campground out in the middle of nowhere. T-Mobile. 14.2. Download. 0.43. Upload. Verizon. The download is 0 0.05 with the upload of 0.98, narrowly beating out the download, which both are pretty abysmal. Pretty sad for Verizon here. I think uh, we're in the land of AT&T. Yes. I have a question for all of you native Pennsylvanians. <laughs> yeah, you fucking had it. What is that? 
What is it for specifically? Because I don't know what to do with it. I think it's for you. And when you shoot a deer and you hang it upside down. I bet you some people do use it for that. But yeah, they cut it and... we've been using it to put a dog chain around. <laughs> or we're thinking maybe you hang a lantern or a flower basket or a <laughs> bug zapper. For? What is it for? What is it for? Why? It was, this was also in Missouri. So if you're from Missouri, you can chime in as well. Or any other state. But these are not in Ohio. I don't get it. It's 3.45 p.m. and what is this? Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon isn't just for morning time. It's not. It's for any time. Mm -hmm. Because over on this side, there'll soon be some burgers so that you can have baked and cheese burgers. Man, look at that bacon. If we have any bacon left. For when the burgers get done. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much just eat the bacon know, as it comes off. it comes off, off it's so good. Huh, that is, that's crazy. It's a double bacon cheeseburger. This is what he asked for, a double. I said, you want a single, two singles or a double? He said, let's make it a double. Damn. And I said, good luck. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to eat it. How is it? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Piper's very loud, so I'm going to smell delicious. It's hard to eat, though, because <laughs> to open my hey. mouth as hard as I go. I, I warned you. I tried. You never listened to me. What? Mm hmm. All right, let's go for a walkie walk. Oh, guy wants to go gotta first. Let me get out. Yeah. He's not good about taking turns. Sorry, Pipey. Those are, those are Canada geese, Mikey. I'm pretty sure that that over there, the other side, could be Ohio. She wants to go in. There's a big old, like at least a foot, foot and a half. She wants in that water. But the only water access right here is literally in the beach area, which I'm pretty sure dogs aren't allowed, but. <laughs> she wants in so bad. She's like, I go swimming. She's like, not really swimming, just walking. to Piper to find a trail question mark. We're not really sure if this is a trail or if this is just something that people have carved out. It's just kind of like a rough path that just zigzags all over the place <laughs> in the woods. But Piper looks super excited for it. Yeah. She's like, I found this. Let's go. It probably goes to like someone's murder scene or something. doing up here pipe gonna make people mad last time we let guy on the picnic table someone got all all mad about it <laughs> said it was gross yeah because there's not bird crap on the table <laughs> <laughs> yeah piper does not care no there's cares something on the table here i don't know what it is i Maybe, know it might have been cleaning fish or something on the table before. I, know. I know there's all kinds of nasty stuff on this table i'm not the least thing i'm concerned about is piper being on this picnic table I'm worried about her getting germs oh uh, yeah i'm worried about her getting hurt <laughs> she's about to fall off the edge over here <laughs> she keeps inching closer you're supposed to sit on my arm oh <laughs> Well, here's some behind the scenes footage, rarely seen. Lynn's got her battery bank out, which means that she's hard at work on her phone. She's got Doritos and beer and dogs. <laughs> this is how she edits 
all of our videos. People ask a lot, you know, what do we use? Well, our phone. Here's a video she's working on. By the time you guys see this video, that video have already been out for a couple weeks now. Yeah, so so you, may, you may recognize it. So no more fancy cameras. No. At, at one time we spent thousands and thousands on cameras and we used um, Final Cut Pro on our MacBook Pro to do all the editing. But now we do all the video with iPhone. This is a 13 Pro Max. And what do you use for editing? iMovie. The free editing app that comes on every iPhone. Yep. <laughs> that's what we use. Well, that's what you use. That's what I use. I mean, it, it gets the job done. Could I be using I, you know, whatever the pro was that Mike was using? Absolutely, because we still have it. I just choose to use my phone because it's so convenient. It's right in my hands almost all the time. If I get a free couple minutes, boom, I can edit. Yeah, you'll edit while we're driving down the road. You'll mm -hmm. edit just like right now. It's just you sitting here at the picnic table yeah, at the race. like enjoying the nice evening. We do have other cameras that we use, but for the most part, I would say 98% of the video that we take is on our iPhones, our cell phones. Yeah, I'm using an iPhone yep. with 13, 13 Pro, Pro Max. Max. Both That's, of us have the same phones. And yeah, we have terabyte of storage on each phone. Yep. So we pay a fortune for our phones, but <laughs> every time a new iPhone comes out, guess what we're doing? We're buying we get it. a new one. <laughs> <laughs> we always stay up with the latest and greatest, and I continue to edit. And I actually enjoy editing. I know Mike found it tedious, but it, it's kind of like my creative outlet. So I enjoy it. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my editing style? Is there something that you think I could improve upon? Let me know in the comments. Don't be too harsh. <laughs> I can take some criticism. I got thick skin, but you know, keep it, keep it honest. <laughs> See you toad at the beach. Dogs totally missed it. Yeah, they don't even know it's here. I saw it. It's somehow in the dark. Yep. <laughs> oh, she's right in the way. She's <laughs> going crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, pipe. Come on. Come on. Let's go this way. <laughs> Get all this energy from pipe. Huh? I'm excited. It's nighttime. Come on. Piper, come. Come on. Hey, right, pipe. You're getting away from us. Let's go. <laughs> Running in the dark in boots. <sighs> what do you think, pipe? Did you get it all out? I nice heard. and calm now. She never cares what campground we're at, what site we got. We're doing. She doesn't care if we have internet. No. This is just what she does. This is the dog's best day ever. Every and single day. Guy pretty much just, just does this. So I kind of made the comment earlier to Mike that, you know, dogs are better than people in a, in a way because dogs don't care where we are, what we're doing, what kind of site we got, anything like that. They just are excited no matter what. Whereas people are are like, oh, this site's too close to the neighbors. Oh, I don't have good, you know, Wi-Fi or cell signal or TV satellite. Oh, pulling me hard. That's my, doesn't have good enough satellite, which we, again, don't have. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while without <laughs> yeah, my satellite. It's been a while. But the dogs, everywhere we go, best campsite ever. <sighs> yeah, how to get the dog's attention. Off the couch. Let me see. Yep. <laughs> oh, he still caught it. It's easy 
easy to hook up in this site because there's just flat grass with gravel underneath of it right behind us. All packed up, ready to leave the Lionsville Campground of Pymerton Main State Park. Yeah, there's two. This one's up north, there's one down south, this one down south. Johnstown or Jamestown? Because I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. We did not actually get to go and check that one out like we we would, so if we do ever come back, we'll have to stay at that one. This is kind of like a just a quick stopover because I think we're going next to Michigan, yeah. maybe? Yep. Possibly. I think we're heading up to Michigan, and uh, so that should be a, a good trip. We don't really do a whole lot in Michigan, even though it's super close. So I figure we're going to do something up there and continue on our journey. So until next time, see ya. Way out here and it's so deep. Might need some floaties. Yeah, knee deep. <laughs> <laughs>